Hi everybody. Uh, I want to make uh, a few a few videos because um, I haven't made one in a while. Today I want to start off by talking a bit about Pimsla and why I am a fan of Pimsla. I've seen a lot of negative criticism and heard a lot of negative criticism from people on YouTube. Um, it seems as though there are it's probably 50-50 in the language learning and polyglot community, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. I think the criticism, the negative criticism towards it is a little bit unfair and I want to talk a little bit, a little bit about that. Um, so why do I like PIMSA? Because PIMSA I've used for a number of languages. Um, now I've used them for languages that I'm currently working on and also languages that I'm not really working on anymore and I'll use them with languages that if I want to say start a whole new language, a whole brand new language I'll get a PIMSA. My two favorite are PIMSA and TeachYourself. I used to always use TeachYourself first and that was it. I didn't really use anything else. But now I I've come to the conclusion Teach Yourself is fantastic. It has everything in it. It's great. Um, the best teacher cells I've used are the Indonesian. It's great. The Finnish is a fantastic one as well. Um, the Korean one's okay. Uh, it just depends. It depends on how it's written and that sort of thing. The Indonesian one was really well laid out. And same with the Finnish one. And I think the Italian one was okay as well. The Romanian one. I wasn't, I don't think it was laid out as well. But anyway, I think it's very difficult for a complete beginner of a language to go straight into something like Teach Yourself, as good as it is. Um, I think it's very difficult because it's very overwhelming. There's so many, so many things and so much content that you don't know anything about. You're not used to the language, you've never heard it, you don't know any of the vocabulary, you don't understand the, the grammar. So jumping straight into a full full course like Teach Yourself, I think is a bit overwhelming for most people. People that A, haven't studied foreign languages before, it may not be a good place to start. And people, even if they have, people who haven't had a, any experience with a particular language, like let's say um, Farsi or uh, Cantonese, I've got, to, I've got to teach yourself Cantonese, I've got to teach yourself Farsi, I've got to teach yourself Korean. But if I want to get into these languages, um, I'll use Pimsla first, as I'm doing now. And the reason why is because Pimsla, it gives you only, it says at the start, here's a small conversation. In a few minutes, you will be able to understand, not only understand this, but participate in it as well. I think that's great. And I think people miss the point of Pimsla. People say that it's limited, and oh, you can't do very much with it. There's only words. And it's fine. It, it's so limited, and by the end of it, you won't know much, and you won't understand much. No, the point of Pimsla isn't to make you a proficient speaker of that language. It's a good way to get introduced into that language and become a little bit more comfortable with it. Because jumping into teach yourself, you don't know where to begin, which, where to start. The first chapter is really hard, even the first dialogue is really difficult, it's got too many things in it. But if you start small, don't worry about grammar, don't worry about a thousand words, don't worry about all the vocabulary. Start off with very simple things. And it sort of does the work for you because it says the words and it says repeat, you forget them and then they come back again. So I think it's very effective. It may be limited but it is very effective and it is a good way to start into a language that you know nothing about. It's different if you have some experience in the language, if you understand it already and you can't speak it, then you can go and do teach yourself or you can go and do something else, a or whatever. I think though if you have no experience, looking at a teach yourself book can be quite daunting um, from the perspective of a complete beginner because you don't really know where to start and there's too many things. Um, and with, with Pimsla, it's only a few things you have to learn. Say a few words, 
and, and by the end of it, you can understand the conversation and you can participate in it. I think it's very harsh when people say that it's not good because you can't expect that any language course to give you, to make you proficient in a language. No language course is going to do that anyway, no matter how good it is. And it's stupid to expect that and criticize a product because they haven't made you a proficient speaker or because you haven't learned 5,000 words or whatever. I think people's expectations are a little bit harsh. If you think you can make a better language program, go and make one yourself. Now, I think it's very good. Um, so small, short dialogue, small bits of vocabulary. You don't have to worry about grammar. You get used to some of the sounds. It's a good way to start. Then once you've done Pimbley, you comp you've completed that, you can go on to teach yourself or Asimil or something else. And it will actually be easier for you because you'll have some background. You'll have some previous experience in another program. Um, it's like when you learn the vocabulary in a language and you get used to the sounds, then the grammar starts to make sense in context. But starting to do, starting to learn complex grammar from the beginning, um, for me, is overwhelming. It's irrelevant because I can't connect it towards anything. I can't relate it to anything. Whereas if I have vocabulary and I have experience, then the grammar actually makes sense and it's actually quite interesting to study. So it's a bit like that. That's why I like Pimsleur. And I would recommend it to anyone who hasn't studied a foreign language before, and even people who have, like me, myself. I've studied a few foreign languages. But from now on, if I want to study a new, a new language, that's the way I'll start.